Welcome to Jobbed Out, the wrestling editorial that reminds you that you can never get between a man and his moppy. You're welcome. Perry Saturn is an absolute badass. You gotta be to have a dress-wearing gimmick and still come out as a serious threat. This is a man who in real life was shot in the neck saving a woman from a gas station rape, and he walked away. A man who in wrestling won ECW Tag Team Gold multiple times before similar success in WCW. Saturn joined the WWF alongside Dean Malenko, Eddie Guerrero, and Chris Benoit. Unfortunately, of the four, Saturn was the one who arguably got the raw deal. While Guerrero and Benoit both became world champions, and Malenko saw a bit of gold himself before becoming an agent and a trainer, Saturn would become the comic relief of the group. You're welcome. But today's video is far from a laugh. This is about Saturn losing his temper and going rogue. Let's talk a bit about Mike Bell. Bell spent much of the 90s as a perennial jobber, in that he would be brought in specifically to enhance feature talent on the syndicated shows. Mike Bell worked alongside the likes of The Undertaker, Razor Ramon, and Owen Hart before joining ECW until its demise. Of course, with no ECW and WCW not being an option, the next WWE match for Bell would no longer just be an enhancement match, but also a tryout. So Bell was set to take on Saturn in May of 2001 for a Metal and Jacked taping. Unfortunately, nerves would get the better of him. So it all started innocently enough with some basic chain wrestling. I'll let you in on something most people don't notice though. Keep an eye on Mike Bell's feet. Notice those extra little stutter steps, the fact that he isn't moving fluently but almost running to catch up to a spot that he's already standing in? That's called happy feet, and it's a surefire way to prove that the man is nervous. It also all but guarantees things are about to go wrong, and they do. So Bell lands a solid hip toss, but instead of waiting for Saturn to get in a position, he arm drags the guy right on top of his head. Now, as a veteran, the right thing for Saturn to do would be to put Bell in a headlock and tell him to slow the hell down. This is not what Saturn would do. Perry proceeded to smack Bell upside the head several times before throwing him straight to the floor in the most unsafe way possible. If it wasn't for the rubber mat on the concrete, Bell easily would have broken his neck. After that receipt, you would think that these two could each catch a breath and then get the train back on the tracks, but no! Saturn was not done here. Perry picked Bell up and threw him right against the ring steps in a way that he absolutely could not brace himself or protect his head. I mean, it looked great, but it probably felt like crap. Once again, this is for Metal and Jacked, the syndicated shows. You don't see this kind of action spill to the outside on a syndicated show. That's more of a Raw and SmackDown thing and usually involves more cooperation. So it's become very clear very fast to viewers that something has gone wrong. One tree of woe later and it would take Terry Runnels, Saturn's valet, to intervene and calm him down. She got through to him too. Saturn went for a brain buster and gave Bell the chance to stay down and put an end to it. Bell, however, kicked out. Finally, Saturn would put Bell in a hold, presumably so that they could talk things out, and the two got back on track. Saturn hit a super kick, Bell went up properly for a fisherman suplex, and Saturn landed the three. Terry promptly enters the ring and removes Bell from it so that there's no further backlash, and the two went their separate ways. Now the real shame in all of this is that the whole thing happened simply because one guy was nervous and desperate to impress as opposed to going into business for himself and refusing to work with the other guy. Saturn is absolutely not blame free here as he went way, way beyond a standard receipt and just couldn't settle back down. Now according to others, Saturn quickly admitted his mistakes and accepted his punishment. Not doing what he was told. You need to put them in a rest hold, you know, say, listen, kid, we're going to get through this, you know, follow me and let's get through this match together. And what Perry did was just beat him up. And uh, it was really sad, but I'm glad that Perry admitted. Which turned out to be Moppy. So in a way, his punishment actually got him more over with the fans than if he hadn't lost his cool in the first place. In the end, neither guy lost work over this as Bell would continue doing enhancement matches for a couple more years, but sadly he would pass away of a heart attack in 2008. 
As for Saturn, he would continue to be featured on TV until losing his temper once again on another enhancement talent later in the year. And yeah, we're gonna talk about that one next. But until then, I gotta ask you, what did you think of the Perry Saturn Mike Bell incident? Do you think Saturn should have put Bell in a hold early until cooler heads prevailed? Or is Bell responsible for his own beatdown here? Do you think the consequences for both were fair, or would you have dished out punishments differently? And what other moments can you think of where a wrestling match turned into a real fight? Let me know what you think in the comments, and be sure to subscribe to the channel for more, because I want you to be a part of this conversation too. Coming up next time is another Saturn beatdown. This time it'll be the Brian Gamble incident, but for now, I better get my shoulders off the mat. So I want to thank you for tuning in to Jobbed Out. I'll catch you next time.